Welcome to Hope for Salvation Broadcast. If you need prayer, call 301-442-3871. Uh, if you need, you need to go out to our website, www.hopeevangelistic.org. Or if you want to check out our uh, YouTube page, we have many messages out there. Um, YouTube.com slash at Hope Evangelistic. All those should be at the bottom of the screen, and uh, you'll be able to go out there. Okay, our website, you can go out to all our other other social media sites and see us on those sites also. Uh, while, you're at, while you're at the website, there's an opportunity there for you to give. If you want to give to the ministry, you can. Okay, now for the man from, from, from uh, South Africa. He's an African-American. He's a white guy, South American white guy. Came to America and his, 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 his whole thing was to get people saved in the church. His mission, God sent him to America to get people saved that were in churches. And the reason he, he did that was because he said God told him that there was too many people in the church in America that were not saved. Hello? Y'all know his name. I, I ain't going to call his name. I, but y'all know who I'm talking about. If you watch any Christian TV, you know it. Amen. So I come up with this message, don't go to hell from the church. And people look at me like I'm crazy. But, 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 but there are people in the church. There are people that are professing that they are Christians that, that, that aren't saved. Let, 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 let me throw one in here. Let me throw one in here that, that, that I hear say, say it a lot. And, they, and people misquote a, a scripture and, and, and take it out of its context and try to make it suit uh, everybody. And, and, and I've heard newscasters and all kind of people say this. And they say, oh, yes, that's because we are all God's children. And, and that's where they leave it. But if you know that scripture, it, it teaches us that we are all Christ, we are all God's children through faith in Christ Jesus. That's the whole scripture. We are all God's children through faith in Christ Jesus. Somebody say, I didn't know that. Yes, it, it's through faith in Christ Jesus that we are all God's children. Oh, <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I want I want to knock down some things today because there are some people that actually believe that they're actually saved, and only because of what they were taught, what they were told, and 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 this is a problem that 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 has popped up in the church, and it's and it's very prevalent in this country. Now I'm gonna tell you something. These are some things that, that I've learned that, that really uh, uh, don't save you. They're good things to do, but they don't save you. Hmm? One of, the, one of the, the, the things that I see that fool people, they believe that they can join a church. They can join a church and then they'll save. Joining the church do, does not save you. That's a good thing to do after you get saved. But Joining the church does not save you. It does not save you. You must be born again. You, you have to come to a place uh, of, that, that of, of conversion. There has to be a conversion in order for you to be saved. There has to be a conversion. Let, 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 let me say this to you also. Let me say this to you also. The, the, the first thing that Jesus said in the book of, in the book of Matthew... The first thing that John the Baptist said out of his mouth when he started his ministry was repent. He had a ministry of repentance. Why did he have a ministry of repentance? Because he was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The first thing that we need to do as to, to be saved is to repent. That's part of the conversion experience. To repent, to turn from sin. To be aware that you are guilty of sin and turning from it. Be aware that you are guilty of sin and turning from it. That's part of the conversion experience. Repentance. John taught it. John taught, uh, he had a, a ministry of repentance. Because Jesus was, had not 
taken his place. Now Jesus comes on the, on the scene. He's baptized of John in the Jordan. He's led of the Spirit of God into the wilderness to be tempted 40 days in the wilderness. After that, he starts his ministry. When he starts his ministry, the first thing he says is, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let me tell you something. Many churches do not teach repentance anymore. They do not teach repentance as part of the salvation experience. They are not teaching it anymore because they want people to feel good about themselves. Hello? Hello? We don't want to uh, ruffle nobody's feathers. But let me tell you something. You have to have repentance if you want to be saved. Amen? You must feel something about your sins. You must, you must become aware of your sin. There is, there is a certain guilt that comes with your sins. Hmm? As a sinner, I'm talking about a sinner, you feel some guilt behind, behind this thing and you want to turn from it. And that's part, that's repentance. But turning to, what are you turning to? You're turning to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The one that died on, your, in, in the, in, on the cross in your place. He died on the cross in your place. So the conversion experience is repentance, feeling guilty for your sins, and turning to the cross for, for forgiveness of sins. You say, well, what? Yes, yes, yes. Repentance and faith toward Jesus Christ is called conversion. That's conversion. If there is no conversion, then there is no repentance. There, there is no salvation, excuse me. If there is no, no conversion, there is no, I don't care what you say after that, but there is nothing that can happen. It has, it has to happen a certain way. And that's what's missing in a lot of the ministry in the churches. We're not, we're not telling them, we're, oh, listen to me, we're not telling them that they need to repent. And if they don't repent, I don't care what, what they say, it don't make a difference. The Holy Spirit has to work on them. Hmm? We're drawn in. The, 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 no one can come to God unless He draws them. The Holy Spirit has to draw you. There, there has to be a work, a regeneration going on there. Regeneration that, 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 that bursts out repentance and then faith toward Jesus Christ based on the teaching of God's Word. Amen. I know I'm right. I know I'm right because it's in the Bible and the Bible tells me so. What are you saying, Brother Paul? I'm trying to tell you something here. I'm trying to tell you, you can go to church from, you can go to hell from the church and we don't want you to. We, we, our whole thing is don't go to hell, period. But, and please don't go to hell from the church. Hmm? A member of the church all your life and then end up in hell. Let me tell you something. There are going to be those of you who make heaven, those of you who make heaven, when you get to heaven, you're going to be surprised who is there, and you're going to be surprised who is not there. And, and guess what? Those of you who go to hell, you're going to be surprised who is not there, and you're going to be surprised who is there. Hello? <laughs> Chew on that for a minute. Don't go to hell from the church. If you want to live a life like a sinner and go to hell, that's okay. But don't go to hell from the church. Hmm? Many, 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 many people join the church. Come on, I, I, I was born in, in, into a family that was, that, 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 that we, we were Baptists. We could have been anything else, but we were Baptists. Hello, I was born into a Baptist family. Missionary Baptist, if, you're, if you please. St. Peter, Missionary Baptist Church, if, if you want to be exact. Hello. And mama dragged me to the altar by the ear. Hello, come on here. And to join the church and join the church. And, and but what did nothing happen? Because what nothing going on on the inside. There was no conversion. I went through everything that the church had to offer. What did the church offer you? Baptism. But baptism does not save you. Oh, I went down in the water and I came up. But when I went down in the water and came up, I was the same when I was going down. I was the same when I came up. Hmm? Before baptism, I was a devil. When I came up, I was a wet devil. That was the only difference. 
The only difference, the only thing that happened in there is that I got wet. I did not get saved because I got baptized. I was not. And I went on, I went on to lead a horrible life after that. Hello? What are you, Brother Paul? You mean to tell me you joined the church and was baptized and come on, got the right in a fellowship, and you you and you wasn't saved, I wasn't saved. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you can go through all of that and not be saved. You, you gave the preacher your hand. Surely you're saved. Giving the preacher your hand don't do nothing but shake his hand. Hello? Don't go to hell from the church, I'm trying to tell you. Giving the preacher your hand is not going to save you. Hmm? Be, being baptized does not save you. It's a great thing to do. It's a thing we should do after we get saved. After we are born again. After we've had conversion, what is conversion? That is repentance and faith toward Jesus Christ. Hmm? What are you saying, Brother Paul? I'm saying don't go to church. Don't go to hell from the church. I believe there are people that, that, that are listening even right now. You're listening to what I'm saying. And guess what? You're saying, I wonder if that's me. And there's a good chance it is. Do you remember a time in your life? Do you remember a time in your life? Listen to me. Do you remember a time in your life you felt guilty for your sin? Do you remember a time when you, you came to a point that you were tired of yourself? And, 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 you, and you said, I, got, I need a better, a better quality of life. I need a better life. I need a change. And you, and you accepted Jesus Christ. The payment, the, the, the work that he did on the cross as payment for your sins. Do you remember a time that you asked Jesus to come into your heart and save your soul? Do you remember? Or did you just go through the formality of joining the church and, 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 and getting baptized and, and, and giving the preacher your hand? Hello? You, 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 you came forward as a candidate for, for, for salvation. Come on here. I, I know the Baptist way. I came forward as a candidate for baptism. But I wasn't saved. Hello? And many be that way. They come forth as a candidate for baptism. Hmm? They oh you may have came, you may have came from another church. You wasn't saved at that church. You go to another church and you tell them, well, I'm a transfer from another Baptist church or another Pentecostal church. Hello? transferring in, you don't get grandfathered in because you are a member of another church. You must be born again. Hmm? Being baptized in any name does not save you, whether it's the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, or you baptized in the name of Jesus. Either way, if you're not, if there is no conversion, there is no salvation. Hello? Come on, somebody, talk to me. Being baptized in any name won't save you. Whether it's in the name of Jesus, there's power in the name of Jesus. It's, or in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, there's power in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But neither one of those baptisms save you. You should be baptized. We're commanded to be baptized. But that's after we had the conversion experience, after you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. That's, that's, hello, that's when... You get baptized after you get saved. You don't get baptized to be saved. You don't get baptized to be saved. Don't you know, I know people that's been baptized two and three and four times. I was baptized twice. Hello? Once when I was a child, wasn't even saved. Huh? And then I was a grown man. Huh? 28 years old. Hello? Come on, Brother Paul. You're trying to tell me that that, 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 that baptism does not save me. No, baptism alone does not save you. Baptism does not save you, regardless of what name it is. Hello? You, you, you got people that's teaching, if you ain't baptized in the name of Jesus, you ain't saved. Hello? And then they're rebaptizing people. They, they weren't saved at the church they went to. They go to your church, you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. And still ain't led them to the Lord. Ain't told them that they needed to repent. Woo, Jesus. Come on here. Repentance and faith in the work of Jesus Christ equals conversion. You have to have conversion. If you don't have the conversion, you could end up going to hell from the church. Hmm? 
Let me tell you something. Some people think that, that, that God has grandchildren. But God don't have grandchildren. You, 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 you two, two preachers don't make a saved kid. Two, 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 two Christians don't make a saved child. It don't work like that. Because you're born into a family, uh, a Christian family, that don't make you saved. Everybody must be born again. Everybody must give their heart to Jesus Christ individually. It happens individually. You owe it to yourself to check yourself out. Check yourself out. Am I in the faith? Why, why should I be checking myself out, Brother Paul? Because God don't have no grandchildren. God don't have no grandchildren. Think about this thing. My wife and I produce children. Guess what? Because they produce, we produce children, that don't mean that they save. Two preachers don't equal a saved child. Hello? <laughs> Two preachers don't equal a saved child. Oh, somebody ought to listen to me. But some people think because this, because their parents are, 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 are preachers, then 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 hey, I'm automatically in the house. I'm going to, I'm going to heaven. No, it's not true. You must be born again. There must be a conversion experience. Hello? Just because your uncle is a preacher, just because your grandparents are preachers, that don't mean that you saved just because you don't get you don't you don't get grandfathered in just because. Somebody in your family is saved. Hmm? Huh? Oh, Lord, help me, help me. Somebody, kinfolk, and, and how you're related to a preacher has nothing to do with salvation. It's a good thing you that somebody in your family is saved. Hopefully, they'll tell you the truth. You must repent. You must have faith in Jesus Christ, the work he did on the cross in your place for your sins. You must, you must believe that. You must, you must come to a point that you accept it. Turn from your sins and accept that work and ask him to come into your heart and save your soul. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 I'm going to get to a point that I know that's going to touch everybody and everybody's going to be mad at me. And, and, and guess what? I don't care. But I'm going to tell you this. Just saying a sinner's prayer does not save you. Well, we go to Romans 9 and 10. Huh? Huh? 10, 9 and 10. Hey, we go there in a minute and tell people, just say these words and you'll be saved. And that's not true. Saying words don't save you. You, if, 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 if you don't come to a point in your life that your Holy Spirit is moving on you and you feel guilty about your sins, Hello, listen to me. Listen to me. If you don't feel guilty about your sin and you turn to the cross for salvation, then... Saying those words, saying the sinner's prayer, I believe in Jesus, I believe, and you don't believe, whether you believe it or not, the conversion has to happen, a mental ascent, oh yeah, I believe that, that's not good enough, you have to be born again, hmm? you must be born again, just saying a sinner's prayer, now I've heard people and seen people, listen to me, they say, you want to go to heaven? And they say, yeah, who wouldn't want to go to heaven? Just say these words and you'll go to heaven. That, that's not true. I, 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 just saying words is not enough. It's not enough. You must be born again. There has to be conversion. If there is no conversion, you can say all the words you want and you will go to hell from the church. Oh, Brother Paul. You, you're messing with me. I hope I'm not disturbing any new Christians. But I'm talking to some of these old Christians. I'm talking to some of these Christians that's been around a while. You've been around two or three years and, 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 and ain't nothing changed in your life. You're still doing the same things you did before you joined the church. Then it's a good chance that you have not been converted. You have not been converted. Oh Lord, help me, somebody! Somebody help me! I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring this thing in. Uh, if you, you see, there are, there are a lot of religions that's teaching a lot of things, and some, some religions that don't even teach Jesus Christ at all. Some, some religions, like, 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 like the Muslim, they say that Jesus is a, 
is a good teacher. He's a, maybe even a prophet, but they know he's not God. See, so that that is not what 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 will will require be required for a person to get into heaven. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, if if the Muslim don't 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 accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and the Savior, then you can go to hell from the mosque. Hello? Hmm? See? Jesus Christ is the only way. The narrow gate. The, the, broad, the way is broad. You, 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 you got people out here that's believing in Allah and Muhammad. You got people out here believing in Buddha. You got people out here believing in Jehovah's Witness. You got people believing in Mormons. But guess what? Faith in Jesus Christ is what we're talking about. We ain't talking about how wide the way is. You can go in anyway. You can't go in anyway. You must come through Jesus Christ. The work that he did on the cross was for everybody. If you're a Mormon, you can get saved. If you're a Jehovah's Witness, you can get saved. If you come on here. If you if you're a Muslim, you can get saved. If you if you're dealing with Buddha, you can still get saved. But you gotta come through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only gate. It's the only way to heaven. Is Jesus the Son of the Living God? Hello. Somebody said, "What's wrong with Brother Paul? Brother Paul preaching like he it's his last time." Don't go to hell from the church. Hmm? Don't go to hell from the church. Too many people, I believe, that are in the church <laughs> that are insane. If you don't believe it, just go to a church meeting. <laughs> Somebody said, yo, that was, that was below the belt. <laughs> that was a bad blow, bro, Paul. Go to a church meeting. Hello? Go to the church meeting and see and see how many people say. And and and, and oh, 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 how will I know? Look at their fruit. <laughs> Look at the fruit. Hello? The people that's in leadership, they're the ones that you that you look you you're supposed to be looking up to. And then when you're hearing them cussing at the church meeting, threatening people at the church meeting. Hello? You know why? Because I give more money. And because I give more money, I should have more say in the church. Hello? That goes right along with Sunday school lesson. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? You're going to respect my person. <laughs> because I give so much. Come on here. That ain't saved. Hello? Saying a sinner's prayer don't save you. Hmm? Hmm? Being kin to the preacher don't save you. Your activity in the church, no matter what board you on, deacon board, trustee board, official board, it don't matter. It don't save you. Hmm? Joining the church, giving the preacher your hand, being baptized does not save you. Saying a sinner's prayer without conversion, it still won't save you. You must be born again. Hello? Don't go to hell from the church. Don't go to hell during the church. Oh, I hear you, I hear you. You're asking the same question. I hear you. You're asking the same question that Jesus, Jesus' disciples ask him. Who then can be saved? <laughs> Who then can be saved? You can be saved. You could be saved. You can ask Jesus to come into your heart and save your soul. Huh? Have you come to a place that you that you know you need a change in your life? Huh? Do you come to a place that you're feeling guilty about the life you're living? Huh? The sins that you're sinning? You're feeling guilty about it? And you know you need a change? Well, turn to Jesus Christ. The payment was made by his death on the cross. The blood was shed, washed all your sins away. So how did I do it? Just throw your hands up. Get on your knees. Throw your hands up in the air and say, God, I'm, I'm sorry for my sins. Hello? I'm sorry for my sins. This preacher is telling me that Jesus Christ, sin, uh, cross, uh, his death on the cross will wash away my sins. He's telling me that. Can, is it true? It's true. Ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to save your soul. Ask him. 
to save your soul. Forgive me of all my sins. Huh? Come on here. In my case, I said, forgive me of all my sins. They are many. Hello? It don't matter how many, but forgive me of all of them. All my sins. Ask him, forgive me of all my sins and come into my heart and save my soul. That's all I'm asking you to do because I don't want you to go to hell from the church. And if you're, not a, if you're not in church, I don't want you to go to hell, period. If you're in some other, uh, uh, other group that don't believe in Jesus, you have to come the same way. Everybody come the same way. Hmm? Repent of your sin and not believing. And not believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Learn of Him. Learn that His death on the cross was payment for your sins. And ask Him to come into your heart and save your soul. He loves you. Get, that's what I'm trying to get across. Even while you were in your sins, He loved you enough to go on the cross for you. He went on the cross for you. He went on the cross for me. He loves us. He loves us enough that He would die in our place. It was a substitutionary death. He died on the cross in your place. Not He who knew no sin became sin for us. Hmm? Oh. Woo! Well, Paul, what are you saying? I'm saying repentance and faith toward Jesus Christ equals conversion. Conversion has been left out of the gospel message. Conversion has been left out of the gospel message. This is a remix. This is a remix of don't go to hell from the church. Because I want you to understand, conversion is necessary before there is a sinner's prayer. Conversion is necessary before there is a sinner's prayer. Conversion is necessary before you join the church, before you get baptized, before you do anything in the church. Conversion is the first thing that you do. After that, asking Jesus to come on in. <laughs> Conversion, turning from sin, turning to the cross for salvation. Oh God, I thank you. I praise you, God. For all that you're doing. We believe that you're doing a mighty work even now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There's a number on the screen. You can call me. You can email me. You can do anything you want to. But ask Jesus to come into your heart. Mm -hmm. And save your soul. Ask him to come into your heart. And save your soul. If you listen to this whole message. And you're feeling guilty. That's what you do. You say, wait a minute. Something is troubling me. Something's not going right right here. Okay, turn, turn. Now you're turning this to Jesus Christ. Turn to the cross. I accept the work that you did on the cross. I believe you died on the cross in my place. I believe you rose from the dead. Come into my heart and save my soul. Huh? Just that easy. But conversion first. I don't want you to just say a sinner's prayer. I want you to be saved. I want you to... I want you to experience the love of Jesus Christ. Experience his love. Experience his grace. Experience it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.